Welcome back, everyone. Real Estate Matters. Bill Nampick, your host. And now we're, we were talking money earlier. We sometimes need to borrow some money and know about the mortgage business. This is our opportunity with Mr. Robbie Shamsuddin with Sente Mortgage. Robbie, thank you and welcome to the show. Thank you, Bill. I really appreciate the opportunity to be on the show again. Absolutely. Well, People love to talk about money, especially when you say, yes, we've got it for you at a low rate, right? Yes, it's the lowest we've seen. I, I know we've heard that before, yes. the lowest we've seen, but it is really the lowest we've seen right now. Is that right? So uh, I've got to ask, how how low is it? I mean, assuming everybody's credit, has, let's say someone has top-notch credit and all those pieces, fall, what's the best rate they can get at this point in time about? If we're looking at a 15-year term, it's probably around 2.7. That's amazing. 2.75, yeah. And a 30 years, probably around 3, 3.75. That is very exciting. Well, Robbie, Sente Mortgage. First of all, Sente, what does the word Sente mean? Where did that come from? It came from a an, an old board game. Um, it looks like a chess, basically. And hmm. there is a move in that game that will put the person in a winning position. And that move is called Sente. So we put people into winning the financial world uh, by educating them. And uh, we believe that the country would be financially better if people were more educated about their finance. And this is why we focus on educating everybody about uh, their, their expenses, their budgets, and all that. So so when I talk with you about borrowing some money for a home, you give me some more advice to, to, to help my finances so I'm in that good position, in that Sente position, right? Correct. Um, the mortgage is not a product that we can sell people. It needs more analysis and education. And I want to make sure that when they're taking the biggest debt of their life, we will be able to help them manage it and pay it off as soon as they can. So I look at their uh, how much they're saving in retirement and how much they're putting on the side. I want to make sure that even though they qualify from the bank's point of view, I want to see that they're not giving up their lifestyle. So I go beyond uh, just what the bank will qualify them for, and I go deeper into their, their expenses and to want to make sure that that payment will not kill their dreams. Absolutely. It sounds like you have some nice value added in when someone consults with you and works with you on the mortgage. Right. Absolutely. Now, also, in the mortgage business, we all start out in life and doing different things. What is it that you love about the mortgage profession? Uh, my passion is education, and uh, when I when I'm sitting with someone, especially that they are first-time home buyers, even if they bought a house before, um, and I work a lot with international people that ha don't have no idea how to um, how the mortgage system works in the U.S. So I focus on educating them about the how to be prepared and what happens throughout the process, and then what happens after they close on the transaction. And uh, uh, the, the analysis that I do show them on numbers, converting everything from percentage to a dollar, because it makes more sense when we put dollar sign next to that number, it will show them how, what is the best way to save when they're taking this kind of loan. Hmm, very interesting. Also, now in the mortgage uh, industry, as we are here in 2015 and going forth, are, there's going to be some changes I'm hearing, and and when are those changes? And can you just highlight kind of what's going on for someone that's in the going to be in the buying process uh, either now or even in the summertime? Uh, probably uh, this is the fifth or sixth time we're here about changes, and uh, a lot of people are going again. Uh, I'm glad that this is happening because uh, the government is improving our mortgage industry to protect the consumer in general. And the changes that will take effect in August uh, are replacing the good faith estimate that gives you an estimate of all the costs and the monthly payment, uh, and also replacing the settlement statement, the HUD statement that shows the final numbers they need to bring to closing into two documents that are similar. So people can compare the estimate to the closing mm. document and they'll be able to compare line by line. It's more clear, it shows the monthly payment, it shows what kind of rate, and it shows how much funds they need. It has a lot of details. Interesting. Now, in the uh, as I looked at your website, Team Robbie, right? Yes. Now, yes. as you're talking about education and those things, your website actually has some tools that the listeners can, can go to. First off, tell them uh, where to go to the website. 
teamrabi.com is the website and I also do a lot of videos on YouTube to educate people about um, how buying a car will affect them or how co-signing to a car can affect them using a credit card how it will affect them so there are a lot of videos that I put on YouTube as well that if they just uh, look up my name Rabi Shamsuddin on YouTube they will find it and would we'll tell them Rabi is spelled R A B I H right correct so we look that up on YouTube and find out and and uh, and kind of get smart, right, Robbie? Yes, always. Well, the website that that's a great thing too. Now I was at, at, on looking at the website. Did you go to Hawaii Hawaii University? Correct. Yes. Are I you did. a surfer? Uh, no, uh, it was a branch of Hawaiian University in Beirut, Lebanon, back in '98. Oh, yes. Oh <laughs> wow! And that's right. You are from Beirut. And how many years ago did you come over here? I uh, p- picked up my clothes and uh, moved to the country 11, 14 years ago. Uh, that was in 2001. Uh, and I just wanted to get out of the war zone and uh, had no idea where I was going. I had $500 really? in my pocket, got in the airplane, and luckily I landed in Houston. Wow, what, yes. what an interesting story. So mm-hmm. you had a few dollars in your pocket, an airplane, a ticket on a plane, and a dream, right? Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a big dream, and uh, it's the spirit that you were talking about earlier, the positive attitude that you have to have in order for you to get to the next level in your life. Absolutely, and, and you mentioned the term war zone. Now, I've not been to Beirut, Lebanon, mm-hmm. but I've certainly heard the news, but it, it is a war zone, huh? Or it was um, when you were there. On and off, yes, yes, unfortunately. Unbelievable. Well, that's uh, we're glad you're here and and that you've you've done so well. And and, and this is you said 14 years. Yes. that's amazing. Yes. I mean, you're, and you're, I'm lucky. The uh, half of my family is here now. The a lot of them moved to the country last year, so it's a blessing. I bet they're also happy to have someone in the financial business too. You can help yes. them and educate them and and help other people realize their dream. Right. Correct. Absolutely. Well, as we look, other than changes in terms of. Uh, the details of the real estate transaction and mortgage. What What is your outlook for, for real estate and uh, the business this year as we're already well into it? Uh, what's the forecast? What are, what are your people talking um, about over there? I want to tell you about the forecast because I uh, sent out an email to a lot of people asking them what they think about the real estate market. I want to hear opinions from different industries if it was in the oil and gas or others. And uh, I believe we are getting into a healthier market. Um, The market in the last couple of years were more of a seller's market. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a good balance. Uh, This year, probably we will have a little bit less buyers and a little bit more sellers. So in my opinion, it will be turning into what Houstonians like, which is a softer market. We don't need to have a appreciation of value that is extremely high because it creates fears in some uh, people. And um, uh, one of the things also that uh, has changed in, in this year is the FHA loans, where they took the loan limit in the city of Houston to 326600 It used to be at 295550 And also they dropped the down payment from 3.5% to 3% up front. And their uh, mortgage insurance uh, went from one35 to 0.85% on the monthly mortgage insurance so this is a huge change in the fha programs mm. um, also uh, you can do for first-time home buyers that don't have a lot of money to put as down payment they can do a conventional loan with three percent down payment up to four hundred seventeen thousand loan amount interesting now let's go back to that first-time home buyer for somebody what are the tips as you talk about education and helping people what are the tips let's say someone's not in a position right now but wants to be a first time home buyer maybe later in the year or by the end of the year and they're, they're trying to get every, their credit right and, and so forth what are some of the tips to help them get there just briefly financially that you would that you would counsel them um, my biggest tip is they need to come and sit with their lender three to six months ahead of time. That's a good, I've never heard. That's great. It doesn't cost money to them to sit with somebody. And the education will prepare them. Uh, we will be able to help them improve their scores by sitting early in the process, uh, uh, lining up where the money is coming from, because one of the biggest issues is sourcing the funds that they put into their bank. If it's cash, it's a big problem. Um, if it's coming as a gift, we just need to document it. And um, uh, taking a car loan before they buy a house is also one of the biggest mistakes. Um, don't do it, right? Don't do it, no. 
And if you want to do it, talk to your lender before you do that. And also, uh, overusing the credit card can drop their credit scores. So it's 30% of the limit of the credit, credit cards is the maximum that they should use. And I always tell people, instead of paying your credit card off monthly, pay it off weekly. It will always show mm. that you have a low balance and it will improve your credit scores immediately. Hmm, interesting. Spend, and also, how about this? Spend less than you make. <laughs> oh, yeah, always. always. You know, now, I'm not, I'm not the oldest guy in the world, but I'm not the youngest either. And I will tell you, when I was younger, I didn't have my, my head on straight financially. And just that tip alone, if, if I would have used the discipline, there you go, right? Yes. Robbie, would you tell the listeners how they can reach you and Team Robbie? Team Robbie, 832-408-0806. And uh, uh, again, 832-408.